Every gamer, whether they know it or not, is on an endless search to answer a single question. While you may only think about it casually or obsess about it constantly, the question is always somewhere in your mind. What truly makes a game a masterpiece? And why is it Baldur's Gate 3? All right, I'm gonna run through this lava. <laughs> to do this. No hand. Yeah, I told you I'm a real bro. Insane, bro. One fucking health. Yeah, he's turning up. Jesus. I told you, niggas, I told you. Jesus, bro. That's why I'm the GOAT. The, the GOAT. Ah! <laughs> oh, Pick shit, me up. You're Okay, okay, jokes aside, we're diving into this topic that is relatively close to my heart. It's what makes a game a masterpiece. Is it a perfection of every element of its creation, or is it something a little bit more nuanced? All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, no, I gave you everything I had. I gave you everything I had. So when I think about games that have recently left a lasting impression on me, like Cyberpunk 2077, Hi-Fi Rush, Elden Ring, Armor Core 6, Ready or Not, Alan Wake 2, and of course, Baldur's Gate 3, they're not flawless, but they have something special, something that resonates beyond the screen. While their respective flaws are clear to see for some, they capture something exceptional, an essence that lingers. Alan Wake 2, for example, is more than just a sequel. It weaves a tale that's rich and dark, enveloping you in a world where every shadow whispers a story. Its mastery lies beyond a blend of suspense and narrative depth. It's the game's compelling narrative and eerie ambiance that might elevate it to a masterpiece for some. Its imperfections in other areas don't diminish its brilliance in these respects. Or take Elden Ring. Its open world and brutal combat aren't just about skill, they're about perseverance, exploration, and the thrill of discovery. It's a love letter to games that challenge us in ways we never imagined. With Ready or Not, the game reignited my passion for tactical shooters, the mechanics, the tension, the meticulous planning. It's a dance of strategy and precision that takes me back to the days of Rainbow Six Siege with the boys. Nice. You, you can go into the whole, yeah. Planning. Lions are, li lions are nice, you're the best. The adrenaline rush of a well-executed strategy, the satisfaction of a mission accomplished through teamwork, it's truly unparalleled. And then there's of course the now legendary Cyberpunk 2077. Despite its rocky launch, the game's immersive world, its neon-soaked streets of Night City, and the complex narrative web makes it unforgettable. It's a breathtaking visual and storytelling feat that rose like a phoenix from the ashes. With the outstanding Phantom Liberty expansion as the capstone on years of dedicated polish, its flaws are now few, and it might be the largest leap from mediocre to some to potential masterpiece in gaming history. And then in Hi-Fi Rush, every action, every move syncs with the rhythm, tuning gameplay in a pulse-pounding dance. It's not just about defeating enemies, it's about doing it with style, timing, and flair. This game reminds us that innovation and fun are still at the heart of what makes a game truly stand out. In Armor Core 6, the thrill lies within the strategic depth of customizing your mech to suit your style. Whether you prefer a fast, agile unit or a heavy, hard-hitting juggernaut, this game offers unparalleled options. And the boss fights? They're epic narratives of power, strategy, and survival. Tens of thousands of enemies. Each victory feels like an exhilarating affirmation of your prowess and tactical decisions. And let's not, of course, forget Baldur's Gate 3. No, you shouldn't, Yoshi. Those are the last beats I've ever- Yo! Damn. You're not too late. Hey, damn! Nice. You just stole that nigga like that? The game is a journey into a richly craft world. The depth of its lore, the complexity of its characters, it's a role-playing odyssey that offers a freedom that few games can even match. Why do you need that big of a journey? Truly. Oh, good shit. Truly the strongest. For fans of immersive RPGs, its depth might crown it a masterpiece, despite any flaws that you could pick at. So overall, what do these games teach us? That a masterpiece isn't defined by flawless execution in every department. It's about creating an impact, 
offering something that resonates on a personal level, whether it's through immersive storytelling, groundbreaking gameplay, or artistic brilliance. No game is truly perfect in every aspect. It's about how we as individuals weigh those aspects. What I may cherish in a game might be different from what you adore. In gaming, it's these experiences that leave an indelible mark. They're the ones that challenge us, demand our best, enchant us, and redefine what we thought possible in a digital world. And you know what? I miss this, man. I love this game. I, I, I love talking about games and the experiences that we would have and, and why they changed me or evolved or made me feel a certain type of way. I just, I loved doing that so much years ago. Truly, with all the amazing games that I played this past year, kindled a sort of passion in me, an inspiration to create more of that content that I used to, that not just to give you a broad analysis of this is what the game is and this is what it does, but to really dive deep into those extraordinary gaming experiences. It has truly been a feast this past year for gamer souls, and let me tell you, I'm back with a banquet of insights. So keep exploring and keep dreaming. Until next time, I'm Ethos, signing off.